people. You amazing, beautiful people. How are all of you doing today? You're doing good. You're doing well. The weekend is over. I know, I know, I know. But hopefully it was a good one. Or maybe the Sunday is just dying for you, depending on where you are in the world. Either way, I got some Undertale reactions for you. That's right. It has been a while. And everyone... Everyone keeps telling me to come back to Undertale. There is so much to explore in the Undertale soundtrack that it gets recommended all the freaking time. And even when I do these double reactions like we're doing today, we're never going to get through it. There's so much to freaking explore in this game. It's crazy. A lot of people do want me to do a full playthrough of Undertale. It hasn't been requested as much as it used to be. But if you would all like to see that on Twitch, then let me know. A lot of people have been saying I need to make sure I do emote-only chat when we do it. So if you let, uh, let me know. I don't think it's too long of a campaign. I think we could probably do it in like a couple of streams, right? It could be kind of fun. I would really like to play it. It's, it's going to be, it'd be like a first for me. So I don't know. Like I never usually play these type of games from what I've seen from Undertale. Like these sort of like more retro style looking games. Like I'm, I've never tried one. So I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. Put your recommendations down below. What other video game OSTs are you dying to see a reaction to on this channel? Put it down below. Do not forget to like. Do not forget to subscribe. Press the subscribe button. This is my first time of reaction to the Undertale OST dummy. One thing I always try and do is describe what I think is happening when the OST is going on. And I feel like with Undertale, it's like a 50-50 success rate, so we'll give it a go again. Alright, already this is feeling like a favourite. What the fuck? What the... <laughs> I feel like this one should be an obvious answer. Everyone is getting down on boogieing with it right now, right? Everyone having a good time. That is, bro, Mr. Undertale himself. I don't know the name of the character. Uh, uh, just a skeleton dude. We'll call him Mr. Undertale. He's walked into some sort of swing Chicago jazz club. And he's. it's also a time portal. Bro is back in the 60s. Sounds about right. And it's just boogieing. Everyone's got those dresses that like all flare around the edge. You know, when they when they twirl, they like spin and lift up. Like everyone's got that. All the guys wearing those suits that for some reason they seem to be able to like lift their legs up over their heads, but the suit doesn't rip. Who knows what the fuck those are made out of? And everyone's just having a good time. He just walks in there and he's getting down and digging with it. It bloody well does though, it actually really does. I could really just imagine like someone in like my old school music class, like back in school, just on a keyboard, just like pressing like different sound effects. And just like that, the teacher comes over and goes, what have you been working on? And it's like, I've been working on this. And just goes like <laughs> this, just like multiple different, because there's so much going on. You got so many different variants of like different sound effects and different things being used. At its core, it has like a really nice melody and tone. And it's just like, it's like there's like a sort of like weird high pitched dog barking noise and these squeaks and all sorts of, it's just, it's just like, it's just wild. There's like so much going on. Isn't that? <laughs> the Undertale soundtracks are ridiculous. It's like someone took every PlayStation 1 game ever, uh, like when you have the pause menu, like music playing in the background, it always sounded like this. They took every single PlayStation 1 game, like menu song, and made an album out of it. Took that as the sample, turned it into a song, made an album, put that on a game that is released today, or well, recently, but is a retro themed game? This is kind of crazy. There's a lot of levels to this. I think Dummy is actually one of the, the best ones. This is very nicely, like, arranged. It's like one of the most song ones. I feel 
like I need a fedora or something. No. Or like a, one of those like canes that everyone had back in the day. Like, like, <clears throat> like, what this feels like is, you know, on the screen where it says Undertale soundtrack, right? It feels like that should say press play to start. That's what it feels like. That That's literally what it feels like. If it, like, it should say Undertale, press play to start, and I'm listening to the background theme. Now, that's what all of the soundtracks feel like. It's just nuts, man. It's actually nuts. I've said this every reaction. But the fact that they're able to, like, the fact that they're able to modernize a retro sound the way they have done and release this, do this, but not, like, like, oh, my brain is just not fast enough this morning, man. It's just, it's just fast enough to keep up with what I'm thinking. I'm just going to ramble like an idiot for, like, a little bit. Hold on. In today's world, they somehow went back in time. They captured... The, the past they brought the past to now they modernized it but kept all the originality of the retroness of the sound and made this that doesn't make any sense does it it, do, it does in my head it's hard to explain but in here it, it makes sense you know I, maybe someone's watching this right now going yeah yeah i know exactly what you mean that's exactly what they did or maybe you're watching this going luke is crazy like luke go have another coffee um it could be one or the other or maybe both but that's what I'm feeling. I feel like Dummy, or like if we if we isolate this song from the rest of them, a Dummy, this feels like one of the most song ones we've reacted to. You know, it had, like the arrangement is like very song-like, like an actual song. You know, it seems like it has like a sort of, it has verses, it has choruses uh, in the instrumental with the way the tempo picks up and changes. And it has sort of like repeatable uh, parts that you go back to. <clears throat> And it really does feel like it has like a layout of a traditional sort of song, whereas some of the others don't have that at all. And I feel like this definitely does. And it definitely has it has more like a, of a song feel than the other ones do, if, if that makes sense. So some of the other ones do, not all of them. Um, I also really love the freaking vibes of this. I just like had another image in my head. You know, like those all like sailor ice cream parlor looking dudes where they'd wear like the white suits with the red stripes or like blue stripes. And they'd have the fedora hats. Were they called fedoras? They didn't look like fedoras because they were like flatter, you know? You know what I was talking about? It looked like a, a weird version of Luffy's hat. Like something like that. But they're like thinner and smaller and flat hats. That's not called a fedora. What's that hat called? Is it actually called a fedora? Is it like a variant of a fedora? I know. I've always wanted I don't know. What are those hats called? But yeah, it feels like a flat fedora. That thing. And like that kind of dancing. Like you can just imagine it. You know, everyone just like spinning people around, having a dance. Hey, I'm telling you right now, if Mr. Undertale doesn't walk into a um, into a, some sort of weird Chicago club and this starts playing, then there's something wrong with the game because that is it. I just imagine you like like walking, I don't know what you do in the game, walking somewhere, open a door, go in the door, and there's just like characters everywhere just boogieing, just getting down and boogie. And you were like, oh, and then it's like press X to boogie, X, and then you just start fucking going for it like that's why i imagine happens in the game that's why i'm associating with this you can't tell me nothing that, that is what happens and i refuse to believe otherwise okay i don't care what you tell me i'm not even gonna read the comments i will read the comments but i refuse to believe anything that anyone says in the comments that isn't exactly what i just said <laughs> now there is another one we are reacting to today and that is fallen down it says fallen down reprise don't know what that means um but we're checking out this one too so I guess I'll try and guess what this one feels like. Let's have a little go. Undertale, OST, Fallen Down Reprise. Let's go. Let me know what other ones you want me to react to in the comment section. And any other video game OSTs. Comment section. <laughs> it's really brilliant how... Every single, every single song, every single OST is able to deliver a completely different emotional feel, despite being simplistic in its creation, like style. Is is like all of them are fairly simplistic and retro, but all of them hit different. 
brilliant use of like emotions in music. This one doesn't feel sad, but it doesn't feel happy either. It's sort of like a neutral kind of feeling. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to work out what I would associate this with. Maybe like um, like uh, the end, like something something's just happened and we're winding down. You know, it's like uh, maybe like like I can imagine maybe it being like sunset. You know, and it's like oh, um, go find Jimmy. He's chilling in the club, or he's, he's, he's gone back to his treehouse, or some shit like that. I, I, I don't know. I'm trying to get... I don't know I don't know where Undertale takes place in. A forest or the, the city? Either way. Go find Jimmy. Chill. Uh, he, 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 you know, he's, he's watching the sunset on the, on the roof. I don't know. And then you gotta, like, walk towards Jimmy. Go find Jimmy, and then you find Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy, you enjoying the sunset? And Jimmy's like, yeah, man. I'm enjoying the sunset. It's been a long day. Like, something like that. That situation. Jimmy's like, you know what? I think tomorrow is going to be better. You know, you know what, Jimmy? I think you're right. I think tomorrow is going to be better. Yeah. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe your hands lies over to Jimmy's hands. Now you, you and your bro are holding hands. You're watching the sunset together. You know, just like bros do. And, and, and that, that's what I'm getting with, like, the flute coming in here, you know. It's a bit more uplifting now. And it's like, yeah, let's just watch the sunset together, Jimmy. Yeah. And then, you know, you're holding hands with your bro. And it's a bit, a bit more uplifting, you know. A bit more positive, positive spin on it now. Because this also could be like an end credit song as well. Like it's got like that kind of energy to it too, where I could just imagine like the credits rolling, like the end of a game. Like like it's got that kind of vibe as well. It's weird because the, the song is called Fallen Down. So you would associate those two words with obviously something negative, but it doesn't really feel negative. If if like I said, it feels like something's happened and we're like we're in the moment after it. <laughs> I mean though when I said about um the last one having kind of a um having kind of like a song feel to it whereas in usually they don't this is what I mean like Fallen Down is is like um it feels like a song and it has a song elements to it and it does have a lot of like repeatable stuff but there's no real like distinguished chorus or part of the song where you can say like that is the chorus that is the repeatable bit that's where we go back to it felt more um, just like one long song, you know, one long story, <clears throat> which I guess a lot of them do. They do feel like the they they feel like um, like proper soundtracks, you know. They fit like a scene rather than they're here, they're here for like song releases, you know. It's not like a Metal Gear Rising or freaking Devil May Cry track where we're getting like an actual song. Which, by the way, on that note, have I reacted to all the Metal Gear and Devil May Cry stuff? Because they're pretty awesome. I think I've done them all, right? Um. But yeah, it's not like that kind of, um, <clears throat> it's not like that kind of like, obviously, I don't mean in sound, but I mean like in terms of composition, like it's not that kind of song. Um, it's more like a scene. 
It's weird. I, before I press play on this video today, actually, I was, I was looking at some older gameplay of some games I used to play. I was looking at the old Terminator game. Don't know if anyone ever played it, but it's like uh, it's like a proper like old Terminator game, and it was like the it, I can't even I can't I cannot even describe it, but I I remember playing it. Like it, there was like a vehicle, gun, turret stuff, and a lot of stuff like that. It was cool. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I remember like I remember really liking that game, and then I was looking at old um, uh, Matrix Path Neo. And then uh, Beyond Good and Evil. Anyone play Beyond Good and Evil? That was a really cool game. I was looking at that as well with Mama Goes Garage. Um, man, I used to love that game. Um, yeah, I was like, I was going back down like that rabbit hole. It was really cool. I've got all my old uh, PlayStation Two games here as well. They're in the they're in the garage. So I was like, uh, the other day I was looking at them. The the one at the top there was like, was it Starsky and Hutch? I feel like there was a Starsky and Hutch game or something. And then there was a freaking um, uh. Oh, what, oh man, what was that? What was that random shooting game I used to have? I have to look in there. Time Splitters or Time Crisis, something like that. God, man, that was a crazy game. And then what else was there? Oh, the, the, the True Crime game, Streets of LA, that was in there as well. Just like going over them in my head. That was a bunch. It was really cool. Um, like that that game that used to compete with FIFA called Soccer something. That was in there. Yeah, it was nice. Um, so I was like feeling weirdly nostalgic and Undertale definitely delivers those feelings of nostalgia without even have playing the freaking game because of its retro feel to it. It does like somehow incorporate all the feelings of like an old retro game, like those retro games we used to play in like a modernized sort of version. Like I was talking to someone about um, um, <clears throat> like an old PC game I used to play ages ago. I can't. You guys did tell me the name of it, but I, can't, I wrote it down somewhere, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, and it was like, it opened, this is an old game I used to play, and it literally opens with like a, an, a like a weird cutscene, like a, like a badly animated cutscene, because it's an old game, where, um, your character is like running, and is being chased and shot at, and they get in a spaceship, and they like fly out of like a hangar, and they're being shot at while they fly out of the hangar, and then they like, then they like crash land on a planet, I think, and the whole, and then the opening of the game is like from the side view, and you have to like jump on platforms, climb up things, shoot people, jump. And it's like that kind of game. But it was like kind of dark. It was like a dark thing. And you start, I think you start off in like a forest. Um, and then it's like, it's like a forest theme. And you have to like, yeah, jump and climb and get to a door, get a key, like that sort of stuff. Um, all from like the side angle, whatever you would call that, like an old school arcade looking game. And one of my old, one of my, one of my favorite games was Giant Citizens of Kaboo, or whatever it was called. I used to love that game. That was like a Halo comedy. That was really cool. Ah, oh, man. Video games are awesome. You know what? They're awesome. They're awesome. Ah, oh, I wish I had more time to play games these days, man. <laughs> I wish I did. I'll tell you what. Don't, like, be careful, all right? Because if my Twitch starts blowing up, when I, like, if I if I start playing games and, like, more, and it just starts blowing up and more people watching my gameplay, I might just retire from everything and just play video games <laughs> forever. Because, <laughs> man, video games are great. Even sitting here, I wouldn't really want to play Undertale. <laughs> I don't know anything about Undertale, but I want to go to the club I want to. I want dummy to come on, and I want to get down on boogie because I know that's what happens. And then it's gonna be like that San Andreas scene where you, 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 you your car. You have to press the buttons to make your car bounce. It's gonna be like that. I know it is. Don't tell me it isn't. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. You can check out both the songs um, in the description. There'll be the links. And if there's any other OSTs you'd love to see reactions to here on this channel, just put them down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves an incredible day. I'm gonna be live tonight on Twitch, watching Toradora. So if you wanna join me for that. Link in the description. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Please press that subscribe button. And as always, my friends, see me. Thanks for watching.